Although the majority of Saudi Arabia's terrain is covered by desert, a surprisingly large number of indigenous plant species are able to withstand the harsh climate. Now under the umbrella of the Saudi Green Initiative, efforts are underway to preserve and even increase the amount of vegetation across the kingdom. So in this video, we are going to discuss how Saudi are converting deserts into green fields. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. The proportion of Saudi Arabia's land area covered by forest has remained unchanged since 1990 at about 0.5%. Only about 1.5% of the land area of Saudi Arabia is arable, and what agriculture the country does has ends up taking over 80% of the kingdom's precious water supply. Saudi Arabia is a desert country with no permanent rivers or lakes and very little rainfall. Water is scarce and extremely valuable, and with the country's rapid growth, the demand for water is increasing. The kingdom, therefore, has turned to innovative ways to provide enough water to support its development. Aquifers are a major source of water in Saudi Arabia. They are vast underground reservoirs of water. In the 1970s, the government undertook a major effort to locate and map such aquifers and estimate their capacity. As a result, it was able to drill tens of thousands of deep tube wells in the most promising areas for both urban and agricultural use. Another major source of water is the sea. This is done through desalination, a process that produces potable water from brackish seawater. The world's largest desalination plant is in Saudi Arabia, a country that is turning desert into farmlands. The crop that is grown widely in Saudi Arabia is wheat, which has been the staple food of the Middle East for thousands of years. Yields vary according to the quality of the soil and the amount of rain, but they are generally low. Saudi Arabia enriches its soils with fertilizers made from natural gas. The kingdom has also tried to develop hybrid wheat varieties and produce wheat without irrigation, as a way to increase productivity without using more water. It is developing drip irrigation and other methods to increase efficiency and cut waste. It is also considering ways to reuse local wastewater for agriculture. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. Currently, Saudi Arabia has 15 areas that are protected because of their biodiversity. 12 are on land and 3 of them are marine. The National Center for Wildlife proposes to increase that number to 75, 62 on land and 13 in coastal and marine areas. The King Salman Royal Nature Reserve in northern Saudi Arabia covers about 6% of the kingdom's landmass. It includes mountain terrain, vast plains, and high plateaus, and is home to about 300 animal species along with rare archaeological heritage sites, some dating back as far as 8,000 BC. The reserve's management has recently planted 100,000 seedings with the help and participation of volunteers in partnership with Madin, a joint effort by the reserve's authority and partners to contribute to SPN's goals. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who aims to transform the Petra state's economy and society, announced in late March a plan to plant 10 billion trees over the coming decades to increase by 12-fold the area covered by existing trees. The kingdom is determined to make a lasting global impact, he declared. However, large-scale projects modifying the natural environment should be done carefully, as human actions can ripple through the entire fragile desert ecosystem of Saudi Arabia. For example, changes in local precipitations in soils can affect indigenous species of plants and animals. Renewables made up just 0.02% of Saudi Arabia's final energy consumption in 2017, according to the IEA. Neighboring United Arab Emirates aims to reach the 50% target by 2050, while its capital Abu Dhabi wants to reach it by 2030. Although some mountainous regions have wind power potential, the majority of this renewable energy would come from solar power generated by huge farms in the desert. The scale of the projects and the power of the sun make solar power in Saudi Arabia cheaper than anywhere else. In a December 2020 report, the International Energy Agency said, Solar PV power, if deployed at large scales and under favorable climatic conditions, can be very cost-competitive. Saudi's capital, Riyadh, 
plans to become one of the world's biggest city economies. The city intends to establish the world's largest park, which in turn will serve as the capital's green lung. King Salman Park, KSP, is one of the mega projects that are part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and will greatly enhance the city's biodiversity. As it stands, the kingdom has the highest per capita emissions among G20 countries. This is set to change as the Saudi Green Initiative works to increase the green space per capita from 1.7 to 28 square meters, which is equivalent to 16 times the current level. When achieved, KSP will drastically improve the sustainability of the nation, as well as reduce the ambient air temperature and the quality of air. The kingdom's farming sector is currently worth $30 billion and accounts for 3.5% of the country's gross domestic product, GDP. It's one of the largest markets for agricultural imports in the world, with food imports accounting for around 80% of the country's total consumption. Saudi Arabia has at least 70 million date palm trees, which are grown on a total area of around 5 million acres. Barley is grown in Saudi Arabia on around 500,000 acres and corn on about 50,000 acres. Coffee and dates are two iconic products in a famous Saudi combination. Coffee is embedded in the Saudi values of hospitality, music, and poetry to such an extent that it is recognized as a core element of Saudi folk heritage. Saudi Arabia is ranked 50th in the world in terms of the quantity of coffee beans production. Al Mohanad Al Marwai, co founder and CEO of the Arabian Coffee Institute, told Arab News that the types of coffee beans in the kingdom are yet to be determined. The main types are Arabica. However, the main varieties are still under DNA studies to determine what the kingdom produces. Coffee crops are found mainly in Jazan, where there are several coffee plantations in Al Baha and Abba. However, the kingdom has about 2.7 million hectares of woodland, primarily in the remote southwestern highlands of Abba and Azur. With substantial amounts of meat, milk, and eggs, Saudi Arabia is now completely self-sufficient in a number of foodstuffs. The increased food production brought about a proportional decline in food imports, and in fact, Saudi Arabia now exports wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, vegetables, and flowers to markets around the world. Intensive dairy, meat, poultry, and egg farming were all introduced early in the program, and already by 1985, local farms were satisfying domestic demand for many products previously imported. The kingdom now has some of the most modern and largest dairy farms in the Middle East. Milk production boasts a remarkably productive annual rate of 1,800 gallons per cow, one of the highest in the world. What did the crown prince say about the plans? As a leading global producer of oil, we are fully aware of our share of the responsibility in advancing the fight against the climate crisis, and as our pioneering role in stabilizing energy markets during the oil and gas era, we will act to lead the next green era," he said. The kingdom and the region are facing many environmental challenges, such as desertification, which poses an economic threat to the region as it is estimated that $13 billion are drained by sandstorms in the region every year in air pollution from greenhouse gases, is estimated to have reduced the average age of citizens by one and a half years. We will act through the Saudi Green Initiative to raise vegetation cover, reduce carbon emissions, combat pollution, and land degradation, and preserve marine life. That the land of the Arabs would go back to lots of greenery and rivers, as it once was, is one of them. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.